If you want to be able to share your book with a student, parents, or another staff member, and you want them to be able to click on and watch videos and the audio that you've included in your book, but you don't necessarily want them to be able to edit the book or to move things around, then you have a few different options. First of all, you can tap on the share icon underneath the book there in your bookshelf, and you can export it as an EPUB. If you're airdropping the book, you can wait for the name of the iPad to show up, and then you can tap on that icon to share with that user. On their iPad, they can go ahead and tap on Accept to accept that book. And then again, if they're not going to edit the book or write in it, but you do have videos or audio in your book that you want them to be able to play, they can go ahead and tap on iBooks to open it up in iBooks. They could tap on Book Creator as well, but again, that would allow them to write in it and to edit it. So if you just want them to be able to read the book and play videos and play audio in the book, they can tap on iBooks and that will send a copy of your book to the iBooks app. And from there, they'll be able to turn the pages in the book. They will be able to tap on and watch any videos in the book, as well as tapping on any audio hotspots to play that audio. In addition to allowing others to read your books that you create with Book Creator, the iBooks library is also a great way to store and organize your books that you've created with the Book Creator app.